So having spent uh, a considerable time in information security, one of the questions that I've been asked, and I know a lot of my peers are always asked, is um, where is, you have an information security program, but is the information security program really addressing today's risks? And are we spending money, especially the CFO, the question the CFO asks is, is money being spent on the right things? And how do we know if you have an effective security program? So this is a question that senior management you know, is living and breathing every day and, and asking. And the reason is very simple, because no one wants to have or fund a security program that's not effective and not addressing the current threat. So why is this happening? The, the reason th this is happening is because there are programs today being developed which are not risk-based. They're being developed based on what's an audit report, what, uh, you know, if you have tools, uh, what the tools are uh, actually generating, or if you have a certain amount of money, we des they decide on a program, okay, we're gonna do the, these things uh, as part of our uh, program. Or the other thing is, uh, if there's a certain tool that has been uh, procured and that tool can actually really quickly uh, be deployed and you get a quick win which helps your compliance reports. So a risk-based approach to information security is what is required, and that is not being done. So what is the solution? The solution is basically develop a program and come up with a risk assessment methodology. Look, look at your organization, develop that methodology. We in Microsoft have done that. For our uh, Microsoft Online Services, we actually deployed one of a, uh, we actually uh, looked at some of the risk frameworks and picked one of the frameworks. Based on that, we developed uh, a risk methodology. Based on those risk methodologies, we came up with a compliance framework. And from the compliance framework, we today have a, uh, a risk and compliance methodology, which is available to anyone and uh, for all our customers. It's available on uh, www.globalfoundationservices.com. And what that does is provides transparency to the end user that we have a methodology where we are looking at the risk. We have a program that is focused on the risk, and then we have the controls, which are also focused on the risk. Now, how does, how, how does the organization do this? There are six steps to it. The six steps are very, very simple. The first is you have to come up with a context. Why are you doing this risk assessment? The second, your critical assets. What is it that you really need to protect? The third is looking at your assets. What are the threats and vulnerabilities that you have to deal with? The fourth is, based on the assets and the threats and vulnerabilities, what is the probability of that threat happening? Or if it does happen, what is the consequence? So that's your risk assessment. Once you've done your risk assessment for assets, you look at the entire risk in an organization. So you look at the aggregate risk, prioritize them, and then determine the ones that you are going to remediate. And the method of remediation could be uh, multifarious. You could, you could come up with a tool, or you might actually even buy insurance or something like that to uh, defer the risk out. But you come up with the risk methodology, and uh, then what you do is you have to monitor the risk. Okay, So you have identified the risk. You have come up with a remediation methodology. You're monitoring the risk. And that, and that finally leads to your information security program. Microsoft cybersecurity team is well positioned to actually help customers do this. We have developed a, a methodology based on uh, industry best practices. And what we can do is work with customers and help them and coach them in coming up with a risk assessment methodology uh, and a risk assessment program, which can then lead to the information security program and help them answer the three basic questions we started off with. Do we have an effective program? Are we spending money on the right things? And is the imminent risk being addressed?